Welcome to Y News, I am Christopher. Japan is a semiconductor powerhouse. As early as the 1960s, Japan started to build and develop its semiconductor industry and made important breakthroughs and achievements in the fields of DRAM and SRAM. As competition intensified and technology developed rapidly, the market position of Japanese semiconductor companies gradually declined. Today, Japanese semiconductors have lost their manufacturing advantage and there is no single chip manufacturing giant. But Japanese semiconductors should not be underestimated. After Japan and the United States reached an agreement to introduce restrictive rules, so that the outside world to see the strength of Japanese semiconductors. Japan will restrict the expansion of the Chinese core to 45 nanometers. The main chip equipment are included in the control list. Once the Japanese semiconductor strength is how strong? So to speak, the strength is so strong that the United States also for the scare, had to take a strong hand to hinder the development of Japanese semiconductors. Japan's semiconductor peak, the quality and price of Japanese chip products are very competitive, becoming the dominant product in the global market. Japan also has a strong technical strength and market position in the field of semiconductor production equipment, materials, packaging and testing. For example, Japanese lithography manufacturers are particularly famous, Nikon, Canon is the old lithography giant before the rise of the Netherlands ASML have to call up Big Brother. But the glory of Japan's semiconductor has ceased to exist. The United States does not want to see Japan's semiconductor ahead of their own, a variety of restrictive measures, resulting in Japan's semiconductor silence for decades. If not the United States, Japan's semiconductor will not come to this point. What people did not expect is that Japan has abandoned the old hatred and the United States to get closer and closer, and even follow the footsteps of the United States as a follower of the chip restriction agreement with the United States. Japan seems to have forgotten what the United States did to its semiconductor industry at the beginning, but now it wants to join hands to act as the US fighter. According to the restriction rules announced by Japan to include 23 items of semiconductor equipment under export control, the rules will be implemented on July 23rd. Japan's restrictions are greater than the United States, the process extended to 45 nanometers. The United States does not yet have such restrictions, Japan is trying to take advantage of extortion to the United States to show goodwill so as to reap more benefits? It is known that the United States to keep a close eye on China's semiconductor, frequently impede the development of Chinese semiconductor manufacturers, and Japan by sacrificing the interests of Japanese companies to expand the scope of the rules, so that in the eyes of the United States Japan is a loyal ally, a friendly partner and will provide more support to Japan in the future. A piece of news came that seems to verify such speculation. According to the news coming from the Japanese media, Japan Rapidus sent 100 engineers to the US IBM to learn the GAA wraparound gate transistor technology required for 2 nanometers chip manufacturing. Anyone who follows the US and Japanese semiconductor industries will know that eight Japanese companies have set up a joint venture, Rapidus, a company that plans to achieve 2 nanometers chip manufacturing. And Japan will cooperate with the United States to carry out 2 nanometers and jointly create a next-generation semiconductor research and development center. Japan's current chip manufacturing level is only 45 nanometers, if Japan's own strength to break through the 2 nanometers process, it can be said that it is difficult. It so happens that the US company IBM has experience in this area. The company in 2021 when the world's first 2 nanometers chip manufacturing technology released. Although IBM is not a chip manufacturer, but does not affect the development of 2 nanometers chips. 
now Rapidus is sending engineers to IBM to learn, which is essentially a cooperative support from the US to Japan's semiconductor. On a deeper level, it is the pull of Japan as an ally. The United States decades ago to Japan's semiconductor all kinds of suppression and now carry out close cooperation, Japan has proved to be very on the road, the chip limit to expand the scope of 45 nanometers to show the sincerity of cooperation, and smoothly from the United States to get more benefits, said it is not too much to take advantage of the blackmail. Japan already does not intend to easily close, if this time to cancel the restriction rules, the United States is certainly not happy. By then a word will be able to overturn all the efforts of Japanese semiconductors. Rapidus also do not want to learn from IBM 2 nanometers technology, and even going forward Japanese semiconductors will also meet a variety of restrictive measures. Japan will encounter what kind of situation is his own business. The key is Tsinghua University is also questioned by netizens. As Tsinghua University and Japan's University of Tokyo plans to carry out the Tiangong Space Station project cooperation, Tsinghua's strength in space and the University of Tokyo's cooperation is not equivalent to the netizens as technology to help the poor. In the case of Japan joining the U.S. restriction camp, Tsinghua University is inevitably questioned whether to provide support. The attitude of Tsinghua University is not aware of Japan's chip restriction suppression and did not participate in it. Tsinghua University is China's top academic institutions each year to train a large number of talents. But how many of these talents to study abroad and then settled abroad to contribute to the development of science and technology abroad? The United States, Japan can list so many restrictions on regulations. It is difficult not to be their own people's scientific and technological inventions. The so-called technology without borders is not an excuse for the West to ask for technology sharing, it is worth thinking about. On the other hand, although the United States united with several countries on China's chip technology to constantly suppress, but did not affect the development of China's chip. Overseas experts believe that the current situation will be a challenge for Chinese technology companies, but some experiments have shown hope. Huawei, Alibaba and other companies are studying ways to develop cutting-edge artificial intelligence performance with fewer semiconductors, or combining different chips to reduce reliance on a single piece of hardware. Charles Schur, principal and senior semiconductor analyst at asset management firm Needham & Company, noted that China is making good progress in manufacturing chips based on mature technology. Mature technology refers to the process of manufacturing chips at 28 nanometers and above, which are often considered mature or traditional chips. These 28 nanometer chips are widely used in products such as automobiles and consumer electronics, sure notes. These chips are increasingly important to the automotive industry. Shar of the US think tank also noted, I certainly think that the large Chinese chip makers will be able to survive the competition for legacy chips, which is a very healthy market. Shar added, there is definitely a lot of money to be made and a lot of opportunity for traditional chips, compared to China's ability to make the most advanced chips. At least in the short term, China's ability to make state-of-the-art chips is not going to be possible and it will take a real concentration of significant resources, attention and human capital to do that. UK-based analyst firm Total Telecom said China already has the ability to manufacture 28 nanometers and 14 nanometers chips as early as 2021. Demand for 28 nanometer chips is expected to more than triple by 2030, when this market will reach $28.1 billion, according to consulting firm International Business Strategies, Inc.